Here is how you're going to build generational wealth for your family. So this is what I did for my family and for hopefully their future generation. You see, I come from a working class family that thought they were middle class. Yes, not all of us are crazy rich Asians. So multi-generational wealth building starts with me. I do it through real estate and here's how I do it. So we're gonna talk about step up basis and wealth preservation. Step one, buy what you can afford. For example, I bought a condo with what I could afford at the time several years ago. I made some improvements during that time that I owned it and sold it three years later in a 1031 exchange. This deferred my capital gains tax of up to $150,000, which, you know, I don't want to have to pay or to have my, you know, future kids pay. Step two, then I bought a duplex that cash flows. Have your tenants pay for your mortgage and maintenance. Keep that property till you have around 60, 70% equity built into it. Then you can sell that and do another 1031 exchange. Step three, the goal is to keep exchanging so that by the time I retire, not only will I be receiving passive income, but I will, upon my death, be able to pass that on to my children past the properties you see with that stepped up basis that you saw on my other video. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Angie, what if my kids want to sell the property, you know, after I, you know, pass away and divide it between them? They can do that. And in my next video, I'll explain that step up basis. But for the purpose of this one, I'm going to explain to you who, if in the trust that I set up for my children, keep the passive income and properties, they can then set it up to be in their living trust throughout their lifetime and pass it on to their children. If you found this information helpful, like and follow for more Straight Talk with Angie, your San Diego real estate broker.